Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's learn how to use Fluid to create site-specific browsers. So Fluid is one of the most useful applications I've come across in a long while. It's completely free and you can download it at fluidapp.com. Once you have it there, you run it and it basically asks you to create a site-specific browser. That's basically a browser, just like Safari, except it only really goes to one website. Let's take a look. So here I'm going to run Fluid and I get this dialog box here. They ask me to type in a URL and a name. So I'm going to use MacMost.com. I can store it in the Applications folder somewhere else. I can also choose an icon or use the Websites icon. I'm going to hit Create. What I'm going to get is I'm going to get a new application added to my Applications folder and it's going to be called MacMost. You can see it just below the screen here. I'll scroll up. There it is. Now I can launch it right away and basically I get a version of Safari using the WebKit that Safari is based on but it's just got that one website in it here, MacMost. Now doing this for a site like MacMost doesn't really make that much sense. You can easily just browse to it using your regular Safari browser. But it does make more sense when you're talking about something like maybe Gmail. Creating a site specific browser that's just called Gmail and just browses to Gmail can actually be very useful. You can have that open as a completely separate application from Safari so you can basically use it as your email application as opposed to your application that just serves all sorts of different websites. So a Fluid browser can actually do a lot more that Safari can't. So for instance here I am in my MacMost browser. I can go to Preferences and I can click on Appearance. And one of the things I see here is I can set the window level from normal. I can actually have it float above all our windows, even above the dashboard, or I can actually have it embedded into the desktop. It's very useful. Say if you have a site specific browser that shows you local weather or news, you can embed it on your desktop. Or if you have something that, say, goes to a website that has your to do list, you can actually have that float above everything else. Now, in the advanced preferences, you can actually say you want to allow browsing anywhere using this. Uh, specific fluid browser or you can allow only things that meet a certain pattern. So by default I can only go to things that have MacMost.com in the URL. This could be very useful for setting up browsers that are for kiosks or for setting something up for a young child that you only want to be able to go to one or a handful of websites. Now I also have some other viewing modes. Under Window you can actually go into real full screen mode using a fluid browser. You can also go ahead and use one of the plugins that comes by default with it and create panes. So here I can create a left pane where another web page can be. So for instance I can go here and drag this link into this pane here and now I'm actually viewing two separate web pages at MacMost side by side, not in tabs, not in separate windows, but actually side by side in different panes in the same browser. And I'm serious when I say I'm just scratching the surface of what a fluid site specific browser can do. There's tons of other features and there's additional plugins that you can add. You can even do some of your own scripting. So download Fluid and give it a try. I find it to be very useful. I keep my tasks list in a Fluid site specific browser. I keep Gmail in a site specific browser and then I use Safari to surf the rest of the web. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.